Hello ladies and mental Jen and welcome to another is it worth uh, the gold video today we're looking at the AMX Canon the Assault 105 the tier 8 French premium tank destroyer as always we're gonna start looking into the armor we get an 80 millimeter lower plate with a 30 millimeter slip on the bottom obviously not very good we get 70 millimeter upper plate angled at around 60 degrees giving you around 550 armor again not very good uh, when it comes to this higher superstructure you get 100 millimeters angled a bit below 60 uh degrees so around 200 armor which is not too bad you have a giant cupola of 100 millimeters of armor and all of it is a hitbox and unlike on tanks like the fosh 155 or the fosh b where the corners of this range fighter aren't really a hitbox on this tank all of it is so got to be careful uh the armor looks pretty bad until you start using your gun depression also note that this is an overmatch angle armor looks really bad until you start using your gun depression but once you start using your gun depression this becomes actually quite a tough pen for most tanks it is quite bouncy 70 2 degrees 65 degrees as you can see the armor becomes way more viable there's still obviously angles to pen this but it is way better than you would expect from a tank like this and it can surprise you by the amount of shots it bounces then again it is not a tank where you can rely on armor whatsoever also these angles are pretty much auto bounces so the tank is more bouncier than you'd expect it definitely gets those random bounces that you wouldn't expect from a tank like this especially if we compare it to something like the Kanona Jagdpanzer uh, so that it was my surprise while playing it and then again there's not really much else to say about the armor obviously the sides are crap and everything else is crap so let's get into the replay and talk about the rest of there here we go playing Ruinberg encounter but you know the drill by now let's talk about the stats before we do anything else all right we're comparing it with the chinese premium td the wz 121 gft so we start off with 1000 hit points 360 meter view range a top speed of 55 uh forwards backwards 18 power to weight of 26.79 tank traverse of 29.2 effective tour is slightly lower than that uh terrain resistance also slightly lower than on the wz gun elevation 20 gun depression 8 uh, gun traverse of 20 degrees from minus 10 to plus 10 uh when it comes to the gun uh quite a different story in this tank than on the wz so we have 2121 uh, damage per minute damage per shot of 390 penetration of 260 uh aiming time of 1.92 accuracy of 0.29 uh the soft stats are rather bad on this uh worse than on the chinese counterpart uh and the shell lost is 1525 which is uh pretty damn good shell cost not too bad for 200 uh, 390 damage but not the lowest one either so what we can take away from the stats is that this is definitely the jerk off kind of a td where you sit in a bush and snipe all game long and it is pretty decent at that you don't have the siege mode of the swedish tank destroyer but uh, the swedish td is the more similar one to this uh way more than the w you said this is definitely not the let's get in your face and shoot you bunch uh kind of td that the w said is uh it is pretty decent at what it does though the um, accuracy aiming time is pretty good even if the soft stats are pretty bad on tds it's not that important annoyingly enough your rearrange is way too bad to to really rock optics so you're gonna have to play with um play with binos which is gonna limit your aggression even more in this game we are pulling off the semi-aggressive play though uh, it is working fine so far and about to pull off the 200 iq play here uh so clearly our patriot is a one shot so i'm just gonna sit here and get shot by the t95 like the fucking god that i am uh i could say that that was on purpose so that the uh, e5 doesn't die but it really wasn't i'm just an, an just a dummy uh but anyways it works out somewhat fine as uh, the e5 lives and the t95 rolls low rolls him while he rolled 825 on me so you know it all was calculated and we never had a doubt in our mind and to answer the most important question is this worth the gold well the answer is pretty much the same as with the wz no because you know there is a scorpion in the game which is by far superior in every way to this Apart from uh, the ability to train French crews, the Scorpion isn't very good at this and uh, the French tank destroyer will be better in that regard. Uh, so if that's the only reason you buy at premium TD and spend 40 euros of your hard-earned money, then you probably shouldn't even be watching this video anyways. 
Our 200 IQ play works out in the end, the T95 dies and uh, uh, our friend and an E5 lives, so that's good. There's still a T28 and this ulti TB here now and uh, we are pretty much winning this game already. I mean, with a, with plays like these, how could you lose, right? Um, didn't uh, uh, get this the ulti TB to peek right in front of my gun and we might actually get RD'd here, but hopefully the RD takes more interest in the even lower hit point Patriot. Uh, than it does in me. Um, do get to shoot the LTTB finally, so that's that's nice, and the LTTB commits a su suicide, so, you know, things are working out reasonably well for us here, and uh, now, uh, Super Bursting IS-3 and the T-28 are the last guys we have to deal with here. Also, the traverse of this tank isn't that sick, so it's gonna be uh, struggling when uh, it comes to dealing with light tanks and shit like that, trying to rush it down. Already did go for me, of course, but he did miss. Uh, so I live uh, to fight another day, and we do shoot the super pushing as well, but our E5 dies. So we're kind of lonely on this side, especially if the T28 decides to push. It's going to be tough for us to hold uh, that shit back, uh, trying to peek the super pushing, but he dies before we can do anything, and we get spotted through these bushes again. They don't really work for shit, but uh, I have nothing better to do anyway, so this is, uh, this is fine. But yeah, as to how to play this tank, it's pretty straightforward as with most of these kind of TDs. You just chill in the bush and, and have a good old wank. Uh, I mean, there's nothing really much to this. You can play it like semi-aggressively over ridges like this and the armor will occasionally save you. It's still not good enough to really rely on, so you won't uh, be able to just peek every time you reload. And uh, as long as you're spotted, you should still expect to get penetrated. Uh, you can take your chances every once in a while, but don't expect to bounce all the shots because it just won't happen. You could argue that the S1 is probably even better than this tank because uh, it is more reliable in bouncing those little shit guns that you meet uh, in this matchmaking. This tank will be better in bouncing the higher calibers uh, as you know it doesn't get overmeshed. It will not be like very reliable, but it will be more reliable than the S1 uh, in bouncing higher calibers. Uh, and also, you don't have to deal with the siege mode garbage, which is nice. And at the end of another face roll game, we uh, might be able to finish off this IS-3. Uh, depends on my timing. And we arrive just in time to, to fuck him over. Alright, here's the end plate. Pretty cheap ace tanker. 5,382 experience with the triple. Uh, we get a confederate medal. Uh, did 3,869 damage. Assisted for 236. Picked up 2 kills and at 1,196 base experience. Ended up profiting 77,000 credits, which is not that hot, but this wasn't that hot of a game. Still that did manage to do fine for the fact that this was tier 9 game on a city map in a tank destroyer like this. So this is a reasonably well-balanced premium tank, which is the reason why you shouldn't buy it, because you can buy just OP shit instead. So why waste your money on shit that isn't OP, you know? Alright, so let's do a little channel update. I know I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos lately and that probably won't change too much until the HD maps roll out as everything you do until HD maps roll out is going to become really outdated really quickly once they do roll out. So I can't really be bothered to really push uh, the YouTube content too much until that point. However, I will be making these premium tank reviews as you do deserve better than uh, trusting the sales pitch of Wargaming. Uh, and I know a lot of you uh, are quite interested in my opinion on these as well. Uh, because, you know, Wargaming tends to uh, oversell their tanks a bit uh, to an extent where it almost can be called false advertisement. So, you know, I think you deserve better than that. Uh, so we'll definitely be keep making those and I'll try to, you know, do occasional go ham videos in the ne near future as well but don't expect like a proper regular schedule to come back like we had in the summer uh anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this review and i'll see you on the next one